Um, I want to start off by showing you, starting off with a video that looks quite bad and sounds quite bad. Um, so I'm in my specially prepared, empty, rather small, rather echoey room here and um, hopefully we'll improve things. To start with, I've uh, just got the, the standard light on the ceiling, it's directly above me. You should see that I look awful and gaunt and Halloween-y. I'm going to improve that by switching that off and uh, turning on some lamps which we've shoved over at one side of the room. Let's try that. Oh dear. No, I've pointed them straight at me. That's a terrible thing to do. Don't do that. We don't want hard lights. We want lovely soft lights that is shining off a large surface to turn it into lovely soft light. So the next best thing is to point those lights at a wall, like this. That's much better. Um, but we've still got a video that sounds quite bad. And um, I'd like to, instead of using lamps, I'm going to turn those off because it's a lovely bright day outside. I'm going to position myself here because I've got a window about roughly 45 degrees over in that direction. So if I open those curtains now, we should get, turn off the lamps, we should get a lovely result. Well, that's absolutely marvellous. It's much better, a better quality of light. It's bouncing around all over the place. It's what we call soft light. And it's from a lovely angle, which you should be able to see is uh, casting lovely soft shadows to my face, which should now look a bit more three-dimensional. Now we've made the lighting better. Um, just got to make myself look more presentable. So first I've got to get changed. That's better. And have a shave. And then I need to sort out my hair. Much better. So next we're going to sort out uh, the sound in this room. As I said, it's rather small and echoey. Not the best choice. If we had a, a nice, um, nicely lit living room with lots of soft furnishings, that would be the ideal thing. But this room's quite empty and echoey, like a kitchen or a bathroom would be. Uh, so it's not the most natural place, but we can improve any room if it's slightly echoey. We can improve the sound a great deal by just shoving loads of soft stuff everywhere. Okay, now um, you might be able to hear that the room is a bit more controlled now. Um, I've stuck up some duvets, a couple of rugs, an old pair of curtains, a mattress, an old sleeping bag. I've just shoved stuff against uh, walls and flat surfaces like the floor um, wherever I can. If I had more stuff, I would do more. Um, but you should be able to hear that the sound of the room through the iPhone microphone is quite a lot nicer now. <laughs> To improve that further, uh, we could add a cheap USB microphone. So I'll just plug in the one that I bought for 35 quid on Amazon. And that allows us to put the microphone um, much nearer than the camera is uh, away from us by just putting it on a little stand or you can clamp it to a chair or it even comes with a little stand. Um, so I'm just going to put that down here out of shot, close to me and the guitar. And then we'll get more of the instrument and me and less of the sound of the room. Okay, let's listen to that. So that's the sound of my guitar with this little USB microphone and uh, the guitar and the voice should both sound a lot clearer. They're about a foot away. Um, and every instrument has got its little sweet spot. Uh, so particularly if you live with someone else, it's great because they can move around just using their ear, um, listing for the sweet spot where they get a nice balanced picture of the instrument. Now that could be very helpfully, pretty much right in front of it, like, the, like this guitar. Um, or it could be, in the case of a fiddle, above you, from around, slightly around the side. You can also use an external microphone of some sort that you already own, like a um, one of the clip on fiddle mics um, and in that case instead of using the, plugging that directly into the phone or the tablet or the computer uh, you just need some kind of um, audio interface uh, if you're going to plug into a phone it should be a USB 2 audio interface and sometimes these things need to go via a powered hub as well uh, so it's possible to use your um, your own microphone if you've got that as well remember if you do have a clip on mic um, you could sellotape that or tape that onto a stand or the back of a chair or something to get that slightly further back and that way you could use a microphone you already know uh, and, and own um, as a really high quality microphone to capture your voice and the instrument from slightly further back than a normal pickup sound. Um, and that's how you get a nice natural sound. So thanks!
uh, for listening and I'll speak to you soon.